I've created a audit list and I did that actually as I was going along. I took a note of the different things I was changing during the example lessons from each of the chapters and made a note so that I would be able to go back and change them again when I'm redesigning my website. If I wanted to check again how I might do that, I could go to my CSS designer and select my style sheet and I could scroll down and see all of the um, definitions, the new selectors that I created and their characteristics and they would tell me which aspects I changed. So if I took sidebar one for example and I choose show set only then I can see I changed the color of the text and I changed the font. Similarly with the images, with figures, sidebar two, I've also got the text and the color going right back to the start. The um, assignment, the main section, I did headers and they were the different font selections and here I can see the way this looks with the color of that heading. The other way of doing it would be to actually open up one of these and use the code selector or look down here and here we can see it's an H1 tag that's within the section, the main section. So that's another way of doing it. If I was looking in the live view you could see the H1 tag is there and that selected. So there's a number of different ways of searching out your content and the different design aspects to know where to change them. But essentially the easiest way is to actually go through and do an audit and get a selection of tasks or different styles that you're going to change. And it makes it easy, easier to methodically go through, for example, and apply the fonts that you selected when you were working out your design and also applying the colors.